thank you all so much for joining us, and uh, we've been excited about announcing this for a while, and uh, to honor our mother and father and grandparents. And in fact, we appreciate so much my brother Nick, Pastor Nick Dean and his family coming from Texas, and we have the whole family here, all 12 grandchildren, and uh, uh, all the in-laws and everything, so we want you to see everybody here first of all. So. Great, good job, buddy. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, many of you know, uh, obviously, about our story with the deaf family and everything. I can honestly say for 45 years, I've been happy and proud to say I come from a home with deaf parents. And our story is unique. And mom and dad deaf, my grandparents are deaf, great-grandparents are deaf, my aunts and uncles are deaf, my sister's deaf, my niece who's here is deaf, my my twin uh, nephews are hard of hearing, and a great grandparents were deaf, even a deaf dog at one time, so we just had a lot of deafness in our family. I'm very thankful for that. And so I got burned several years ago because so many people in my travels and even our church would ask me so many questions about the deaf world and deaf culture. And so I decided to do something so that we can not only educate people about the deaf world and deaf culture, but also marry it with Christianity. Because we are unashamed Christians, all of us are unashamed to be born again, Bible believing Christians, and we thank God for salvation. And so, having said that, uh, before we do the, the special presentation, I explain it. I want my brother and sister each to take a moment, and uh, I've been blessed in my life to have an incredible brother and sister. My brother Nate, another Dakota, has been such a dear to me, and I love my brother with all my heart, and my baby sister. And we've been through a lot to get all the moves, family very tight. And I thank God for him, and I thank God for her. So this time I want to give Nick a chance to talk about his mom and dad. I really don't know where to start. How do you sum it up? You know, 43 years. A wonderful influence in my life. Learning from my dad where to stand. Where to stand no matter who's standing with you. Learning from my mom. Still learning it, but learning from my mom, patience. <laughs> and learning from them both how to love unconditionally. And uh, I could go on and on and on, just keep talking about the influence they both had on my life growing up and still have today. I still often wonder, what would my dad or what would my mom think about this or about that? And I still want their advice in my life. And I thank God for the lessons, the many lessons that they taught me in my life and the lessons that they're teaching me still today as a father and a husband. Having a family. Amen? Amen. And so uh, I thank God for my parents and my brother and my sister. I've been blessed with a wonderful family to grow up in and now a wonderful family to have as my own with my wife and my four children. God has been very good to me. Thank God for all his blessings in my life. I love you, my dad. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Jennifer? Yeah. I'm always at a loss when I had the opportunity to talk about my parents because no words can describe uh, sufficiently how wonderful they are. I'm proud to tell the world that I'm a daddy's girl and that my mom is my best friend and they're number one to me and they've done so much for us. I can't imagine having another set of parents when you've had the best. And the Christian influence on my life too. This is what would mom and dad think you now and I'm turning 40 years old and my brother Nick's right. What do mom and dad think about this situation and that situation? And I still go to them. And when I need to confide in them, they're just, I just, they're always there. And I want to thank them both for being wonderful parents and grandparents. We thank the world of you and so do my kids. And we love you all very much. So we're excited to do this presentation. Now we're going to have one granddaughter from each family. So they're going to help us with this. And I'll just explain it will be done. And we thank you so much for watching again and then sharing this and all that. So make sure you get the right, who goes to the right person, right? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. This is Clara. This is Madeline, brother Nick's, uh, my brother Nick's daughter, and this is Amelia, my sister's daughter. So, <laughs> see if they figure out first or not. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, you just an in. Wrote a book. We wrote a book, and the book is about uh, my parents and my savior, and. Uh, the Bible says to honor your parents, and so I wrote, my first book is a book to honor you both, and every chapter tells personal stories about you both, and also it marries it to Jesus Christ, and 
Uh, the emphasis is how to, in this world of negativity, to show this world that we can speak, live in our marriages, in our work, in our churches with heart language. And the books are already selling, but we've kept it secret from you both. I wrote in their dedication to you both. The books are dedicated to you both. Every book that sells, you will get one dollar. You both will get one dollar from every book. And missions, we will give one dollar to missions every book. I'm doing it on purpose to keep accountability out there. So one dollar from every sales for you both, and one dollar is for missions. So they're already available on Amazon. They're already available on uh, Apple Books. They're already available through hard copy and digital. And this book is for you and mom, and dad, and we want you to have those copies for yourself. Amen. We've been asking all week what the surprise was. In. See, they never dreamed. We got you. You didn't know that, huh? Yeah. So, yeah. It's, it's a wonderful surprise. Uh, several have already read it, and they said they're excited about it. They, they learned so much about the deaf world, deaf culture. And this book's not about me. It's about Jesus and my parents. And I, I think you'll enjoy it. There's even samples on Amazon. I encourage you to go check it out. And again, one dollar goes to them from every sale, and one dollar goes to missions. And it's not about the money. It's about honoring my parents and honoring my Savior because they're our heroes today. We love them very much. So, we love you. Yeah. Now, let me show the book. So, Deaf World. I want you to share this as much as you can because this will educate many of our hearing friends who don't understand the deaf world. So many incredible true stories about my parents, about my experience growing up, about my sister and my brother. And the reason I wanted to announce this as a ministry opportunity is this is the first of hopefully, Lord willing, many more books. I'm already working on book two, I'll possibly work on some work books for Bible study. Because I believe if this world speaks from here more than from here our emotions, we can change this world. Jesus spoke, preached in such a way that people said, wow, how can you get mad at him? Because he spoke from his heart. When you speak from the heart, it doesn't matter if you speak uh, Chinese language or Spanish or French or Russian or Sinus or English. Heart language from here is always heard here too. So I want to challenge you to get the book, read it, give me feedback, and let's look forward to changing the world, changing our families, changing our churches with heart language. I want to thank my beautiful wife and two daughters for Cameron and Jason Miller for helping us out. I've always got to give him a shout out. And Jennifer says, I guarantee you will cry and laugh through the whole book. That's right. You will cry and you will laugh through the whole book, all right? Uh, mom's already crying. You're cry. That's where I get my crying from her. Do you want to say anything else about it? I'm looking forward to actually reading the whole thing myself. <laughs> <laughs> sure he has. He has. A typical man, woman, right? So, and I want to thank my family, too. I love being y'all's uncle and the daddy to my four kids and the husband and my wonderful wife. Without my wife and four kids, this wouldn't be possible, too. So I love you guys. Thank the Lord. All right, one more thing. I do want to say I'm proud of my brother writing the book. We've talked about how more preachers who preach the truth need to write books, and we did it. So I'm excited about what God's going to do with this book. Amen. A lot of hard work, but thank you for supporting. But really, it's a project we all three have known about for a long time. I've kept them both posted ever since day one. A lot of all-nighters, a lot of work, a lot of studying, a lot of memory going down there, a lot of tears. And we just praise God it's done. And hopefully it'll be a blessing to you all. Again, we'll be promoting it a lot in the next few days, weeks, on our social media. Please share this and hope it'll be a blessing to you all. I think it's $12.99 for the hard copy. Uh, $9.99 for the digital copy, and it's available on Amazon already, Apple Books, Kindle, all that stuff. So thank you so much for coming and joining us. We love y'all. Make it a great day. Hey, let's change the world by using hard language. Love y'all.